going on, people? It's the Xbox 448. And guys, in this video, it's it's another one of those, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. Um, guys, it has come out, there's an article by The Verge, and I'm going to put it up here in a second, uh, talking about how Microsoft has created another division within their corporation, and this one is um, a cloud gaming division. Now, let me put this up here, and I'm going to read some stuff, you know, straight from it, so this way... Uh, you know, I get I get the words right from the article. So here it is uh, Microsoft's new gaming cloud division readies for a future. Of course, this is the verge. So it's beyond Xbox But guess what guys Xbox isn't going nowhere. Basically, it's it it, it hints towards that in this article as well but um It talks about Microsoft's first video game in 1981. Yeah, whatever uh so, Microsoft has been building up to a move to cloud gaming. The company has been acquiring game-related companies over the past few years, such as Havoc, Simply Gone, and Playfab. So, uh, Havoc is a physics engine, Simply Gone. These are all kind of like background software to, uh, to develop infrastructure in games. And, and basically, they acquired these, which is really important if you're going to do... Uh, a cloud streaming service and whatnot. So, uh, Phil Spencer, who is now, who now kind of, he, he reports to the head of Microsoft himself, Satya Nadala. Uh, Phil is the head of Microsoft Gaming. Um, and Phil basically stated that he wanted to dedicate a team focused exclusively on the gaming cloud. So, this guy, uh, Chow, either Chowdhury or Cowdhury, um, I'm sorry if I'm butchering his name, uh, did an interview with The Verge and, uh, talking about that separate division saying that, you know, conversations started happening last summer. They really want to start creating the structure of the organization by the end of last year. The new division is designed to entice developers and game publishers to use Microsoft's cloud services. Now, uh, Ubisoft has been using Microsoft's Azure cloud services across PC, Xbox, and PS4 for Rainbow Six Siege. And they go on to state basically in this article how Microsoft wants to reach that 2 billion uh, gamer demographic um, in the next couple years. Uh, Phil Spencer came out um, in a conference and basically stated that in a few years, I think it was like three years or so, uh, there'll be uh, an estimated 2 billion people uh, playing games, basically, in, into the gaming industry and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's happening. With, with the cloud gaming, they are talking about, of course, cloud compute, and they also are talking about streaming. Phil Spencer went last year, came out and, and said that, you know, he kind of predicted within three years, Microsoft would have a streaming service. Now, they talk about, you know, having games on multiple devices and stuff like that, and that's where they want to go. And uh, this guy, Cowdery, also goes on to state about the success of Game Pass. And he states that, you know, with the success of Game Pass, uh, he loves the fact that gamers have options now. Whether they want to buy the physical disc, whether they want to... Uh, purchase a digital code or if they want to do a streaming Netflix type service for games those are all options and that's why I'm telling people do not worry you're gonna hear haters out there talking about Xbox is dead one more time and it's not true because at the end of the day it is about options now I have gone on record in different live shows stating that the next generation console is definitely one that any gamer in their right mind would not want to miss out on uh, whether it comes to the the new Xbox the new PlayStation 5 and, and that gen generation of games uh, and uh, console right we are gonna have so many options on how we purchase how we play games within that generation even more so than what we have today that to me it is a no-brainer to to 
invest in in the console generation that is coming up now i you know me i invested in the xbox one i have a ps4 as well i am having fun with these systems but to see that there are even more options that are going to be even more uh fleshed out and have more features to them in terms of how i buy my games how i purchase my games how i play my games uh next generation is going to be absolutely insane so when you look at this article, and I will post a link in the comment section, oh, not in the comment, in the description below. I'll post a link in the description below. Take a look at the article. It's not, it's not talking about the end of Xbox, and I feel that there are people that are going to run with this article and start saying that whole thing, see, like, Xbox is done or whatnot, but it's not. It's another option, and with the games that you get on a streaming service, you'll be able to stream those games on multiple devices even Sony in this article they talk about Sony you know cutting off the game streaming to the PS3 the Vita the PlayStation TV and whatnot but they didn't say they were doing that because they don't want to get into streaming no they said that they cut those other pieces of hardware out because they wanted to focus strictly on streaming games to the PlayStation 4 and to PC so even in that space, it might not be as uh, uh, as various as as like what Microsoft and Xbox has in plan of multiple devices. But even PlayStation is talking about streaming games on their hardware, their console, plus PC. So that's where this industry is going, guys. And um, like I said, I, I feel there'll always be options. Whether you're a physical kind of person, whether you buy digital codes, or whether you really get into these uh, streaming services with subscriptions, there are gonna, there's going to be an option for everybody to build their library of games. And uh, next generation is going to be absolutely insane, guys. But hit up the comment section. I want to know what you guys think. Like I said, I will post a link to the article in the description box below. So hopefully you take a look at that. I want to hear your opinions and such. And as usual, guys, if you like the topics, you like the gameplay, definitely slap that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox 448. And I am definitely signing off. Trying to get demons up out of me demons. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries beast. Deceasing opponents so properly Opponent. Unleashing the dark side, what got to me? Dark. We come to take this shit over